Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Cloudy Vape. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Big Dripper RDTA clone from Joy King. Okay, without further yapping, let's dive down and check out this RDTA. Let's start off with the unboxing of this device. This device was sent to me by Joy King, the actual manufacturer, for review. So let's just go ahead and unbox it and check it out. This is a, a decent box, better than most clones I've seen. Um, it says Joy King, rebuildable atomizer. On the back, it says you must be over 18 to use this. Their website, szjoyking.com. Vaping is the future. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. All right, so let's start off with what extras come with. Let's see what the extras are. I've actually opened this and checked it out a little bit. So we have a Allen wrench. This Allen wrench is for the deck screws to tighten the deck screws when you're actually building the device. There is a couple extra coils. These look like 24 gauge, uh, eight wraps. And then there's some cotton and there's some O-rings. It actually came with some black O-rings that I put on because these O-rings are a little bit thinner. So depending on if you want a tighter top cap, a snugger top cap, you want to use the black ones. If you want a looser top cap, you can use these red ones. All right, here's the big dripper. Let's go ahead and look at it a little bit more up close. So real quickly, if you're not familiar with this type of device, this holds five milliliters of e-juice on the top of the deck. And this is actual pump action right here. If you see like this, this pumps the juice into the deck on top of your coils. So we'll go more in depth in that. But overall, just for a quick rundown of this device, this is 304 stainless seal and it is very well machined. No extra uh, pieces of metal anywhere. No imperfections that I can see. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom. We have a copper contact. We also have our two negative post screws. If you see these two screws right here, these adjust your negative posts. Once we go into the deck, I'll show you how to adjust the negative posts. But again, we have a copper contact. The, uh, the post sits pretty, pretty shallow. It's not too long of a post, which is decent. It'll fit pretty much everything. Um, I've tried it on quite a few different mods and it does fit. Again, this is a clone, so it does match a few of the markings that the Authentic has. The, uh, the machining is just uh, impeccable. I have not tried other clones of this device, but so far I can say that this clone is on the money. This is definitely a very good device, very well machined. So let's go ahead and check out the tank. This right here is the tank where you fill up your juice into the tank, of course. Let's just unscrew it. It is spring actioned. So here we got your pieces. Here's your spring. This comes off so you can clean it. Just like most tank devices, there is a stem that goes directly down into the deck or where the coils are. So this is where the vapor comes out, so to speak. So let's go ahead and look at this part. All right, so this is your tank part. There's a few different pieces to this. Uh, I'll just break it apart in two pieces. Basically that stem inside there pops out just by pushing this right here. So that pops out. You have two rubber O-rings. Uh, you have an O-ring right here that seals this part, this top part where your drip tip comes in. So it, it, it causes a, a seal. That's what helps it pump. Then you also right here on this tip part, if you can look closely, there's a also a rubber O-ring inside of there and that seals the stem for the bottom part. So basically what happens is when you put this together, you just drop it right here, the larger part in, drop it in. If I can do it like this, there we go. Okay, so if you see here, you have a very small, almost like a needle point, that really small hole right there, not the larger hole, the smaller hole. It's like right there. That is where the juice comes out from the top. So this goes right onto your deck like this. And then here it goes on like that. And this spring action, once it's in, it seals. And then you push down and that actually pumps the juice into the deck. So we'll actually go ahead and fill it up real quick. But real quick, I wanna talk about the, uh, just the quality of it real quick. So let's look at this part. The, uh, the threads in here are buttery smooth. No sharp pieces to mention. I can rub my finger on it with no problem. That's usually my test, I'll rub my finger on it and if I get 
cut up or if I get a, you know, a splinter from the metal, then I know the machining is usually not that good of a quality. But overall, very shiny, very smooth. All the edges are smooth right here. This edge is very smooth. All these edges are smooth. They did a good job polishing this off. And again, inside here, this part, no imperfections to speak of. Very, very smooth all around. So overall, very good machining on this area. Let me go ahead and put this back in. All right, the way you fill it is, if you see this stem right here, you fill it up to that stem inside. Kind of like the Nautilus, you have your stem that you fill it up to. So let's go ahead and fill it up real quick. We'll tighten it down and then we'll move on to the bottom part, the part that actually connects to the deck, and then we'll talk more about the deck. I'm going to use some Thug Juice by Mount Baker. This is a 20PG 80VG mixture. So let's go ahead and just put it in the tank. And again, if you've used a Aspire Nautilus, it's kind of the same. You just want to make sure you don't get, you don't get above that stem. All right, so I filled it up to about the stem. So let's go ahead and screw the spring part on that actually connects to the deck. All you gotta do is line up the stem, push down on the spring, tighten it up. Now, one thing to mention about this, I did fill this up and left it for about a day, laying on its side just to test if it would leak. And I have had no leaks on this. So I'm really impressed about that. No leaks so far. One other thing to mention, this did not come with a drip tip. That is not a problem for me because I have plenty of drip tips. However, if this is your first device, just keep that in mind. You'll have to get a drip tip on top of this device. Alrighty, so let's look at the inside of this. This is where it actually connects to the deck. This will connect like this. So this is a very nice dome shape inside of here. The uh, It's kind of a conical dome type shape. This really increases the flavor when you're inhaling the vapor. It really, really helps the flavor. So this is a very nice machine dome inside of there. And then again, you see that little needle needle hole right there. I say needle hole, it's probably more like a, uh, eh, probably like a 28 gauge wire. That's about how big the hole is, maybe 30 gauge. Uh, and so that's where your juice actually comes out. All right, let's talk about airflow. You have two Cyclops style air holes in here and that just adjusts on the deck so you can adjust them tighter. It's a pretty decent open airflow. I would like it a little bit more open, but again, it is very nice for just getting flavor. Not really huge clouds, but really good for flavor. But don't get me wrong, you can get some nice clouds out of this device. A few things to mention on the, uh, the actual top part right here. This edge is nice and smooth. There's no, uh, no sharp edges, which I really like about that. Nice and smooth all around. Even inside, very smooth, no sharp edges inside. Also the airflow holes, very smooth. So let's look how the airflow actually adjusts. You have two different options, depending on where you put your coil, depending on which side, you have the, you know, uh, an airflow near those, which is nice. That way you don't have to center your coil uh, if you don't want to. Uh, you can if you want, but again, it's, it looks like where these airflow holes are, you wanna kind of keep each coil to one side. So let's go ahead and look at how the airflow adjusts. So let's just pop it on like this. Here's your airflow. You just turn to adjust it, tighten it up, open it, and tighten it again. So real simple airflow adjustment. All right, let's look at this deck real quick. Very simple three post design with Allen wrench top screws. That's where I mentioned in the beginning you have an Allen wrench. So these just adjust these right here. This just adjusts. This makes tightening your coils really simple. It'll give you a nice snug coil. The juice well in this is about three millimeters. The machining on the deck is impeccable. I do not see any imperfections. The screws go in buttery smooth, really no issue. Uh, as far as screwing those down, I have not had a problem yet. Again, the edge of this is nice and smooth, no sharp edges. The tops of these are nice and smooth, no sharp edges on these. Let's go ahead and look at the actual posts. As you can see, the holes for the canthal or wire rather, super wide. You can fit two pieces of 22 gauge in there easily. So that is very nice for people who are wanting to use thicker gauge wire. Now these negative posts are adjustable, as I mentioned before. So let's look at that real quick. Here are your bottom screws. These adjust their respective negative posts on the top. 
just unscrew it, loosen it up, and then if you see here, these turn freely. And then as soon as you get them to where you want them to be, you just tighten down that screw again. All right, so I'm gonna do a build on this real quick. I'm gonna use 24 gauge Canthal. I'm gonna do a dual coil sitting about 0.32 ohms. That'll be uh, eight wraps wrapped around a 332nd drill bit. So let's go ahead and switch to the other camera angle. Before we start vaping on this, I just wanna to touch on how this actually drips into the deck. So as I showed you inside of this, we filled up this tank part. There is a spring, a few different types of uh, seals on this. And this actually will pump, if you push down on the drip tip, it will pump the juice out. Okay, so now you get an idea of how the juice actually drips out. Uh, there's only one juice hole in there, so you kind of have to drip it on one, twist it, drip it on another. I just don't personally feel, like this is just my personal opinion, I don't feel that it, it can get adequate enough juice to the coils. And also, I guess it depends on what type of build you're using. The actual drip hole is actually set up right in between the two airflows. So it's supposed to drop around the center of the airflows. So that is a good spot for it. I'm kind of OCD about where I put my juice on the coils. So that's only my personal opinion. I know plenty of people and other reviewers that absolutely love this device. But I would like if maybe the, the actual holes were over the two coils because it is a dual coil setup. So that's just something I wanted to throw out there. But besides that, this device is absolutely killer. The conical type dome shape inside of there just really gives a nice flavor to the device. Uh, it really helps the flavor. So that is one of my major selling points on this. Uh, I really, really enjoy that. So even if you didn't use the tank part, this device in general, even if you just dripped uh, you know, normally, it works perfect. It is a great device. The just the uh, just the design is awesome. So kudos to the authentic maker on this device. All right, let's vape on it and talk about it. I'll have the airflow wide open on this. So let's see how she vapes. Pump up the jam. Pump it up while your feet are thumping. And the jam is pumping. The flavor is killer on this device. Absolutely love it for flavor. I will definitely go to this when I need more of a flavor type device. Very, very good. Uh, absolutely love it. The wide open airflow is very nice, especially for warmer builds. Gives a very good flavor. I'm using Thug Juice from Mount Baker, which is a menthol. So it is a very warm menthol. Very good flavor. The only con that I can actually see on the Big Dripper is where the juice actually comes from. There's only one hole. So if that, if that could be switched up in future devices, future versions of this device, that would be great. Uh, but overall, very, very good device, very good flavor, super easy to build, very good adjustments on the deck. Also the airflow, you can tighten it up, open it up, and you also have two different spots for airflow depending on where you put the coils. So those are some awesome points on that. But the only thing I would personally say, as I said again, I think that the uh, where the juice actually comes out, it just doesn't seem realistic. You would have to drip it, um, you know, turn it to, uh, turn the hole right over one coil, drip it two or three times, turn it over the other coil, drip it two or three times. I've used this device for about a week straight and uh, that's what I have to do. But again, I like to saturate my cotton a lot and that is just my style of dripping. But with all that being said, real quickly, I just wanted to say thank you to Joy King for sending this out for review. It is a very good device. The machining is excellent on this. I have nothing bad to say about any of the machining on this. Very good, very, very primo device. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any more questions about this device, go ahead and leave a comment below, ask the questions, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And that wraps it up for this review, so I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. If you want to know more about this device, look in the description box below. I'll put a link to it. And if you like my videos in general, please subscribe. And as always, stay classy and keep vaping.